Hey everyone, it's Rad here again, and today I'm going to be reading my supplemental essays for the University of Pennsylvania. And so I already have other videos up where I read my common application essay that I sent to you, Penn, as well as my other supplemental essays for different schools that I was accepted into. My Stanford one is up, which is where I'll be attending this fall. But I also wanted to read uh, my other supplemental essays because I thought it would be really fun if I just shared some of the different essays that I wrote because I know when I was applying these videos were always super helpful just for inspiration purposes and just to hear the kinds of things that other people wrote about so I'm going to be reading both of my essays today and I'll just go ahead and get into the questions and so I actually don't have the exact prompts with me but I'll kind of I mean you guys can look them up too but I'll kind of just tell you like the main idea so the first like main pen essay was something about how you'll explore your uh, intellectual and academic pursuits at UPenn and to reference the specific school that you're applying to. And I applied to the College of Arts and Sciences. So this is the essay that I wrote, which is their main, it says Penn main essay one. I spent a large portion of my childhood volunteering in my brother's special education classroom. I distinctly remember frustrated parents repeatedly complaining about the insufficient after school services in Southern Nevada. Programs for individuals with special needs were a rarity, and those that did exist couldn't accommodate children like my brother, Umer. These were the motivating factors behind the development of my nonprofit organization, Real Autism Difference, RAD, which now provides after-school, weekend, and summer services throughout Las Vegas. This initiative piqued my interest in a multitude of fields, including economics and business management, as my future aspirations include developing RAD into a national organization. As I continued my community engagement and advocacy for those with autism, I dove into a world of policy change. Over the summer, I traveled to Washington, D.C. and ultimately won NSLC's mock presidential election. In the midst of my days spent on campaigning and distributing flyers across American University, my team and I drafted policies related to healthcare and education. It's funny. But the rigorous presidential debates and speeches I subsequently delivered manifested a future campaign slogan, vote for rad, you'll be glad, and further kindled my passion for politics. The University of Pennsylvania's unique interdisciplinary major in philosophy, politics, and economics is the perfect fit for me. Unlike any other program, it would allow me to learn invaluable skills in nonprofit management through economics and advocacy through politics. Furthermore, I envision myself learning about the philosophy behind the human mind and what drives our actions. Within the PPE program, I would build a foundation across multiple areas and then take a role in building my specific educational path. The interdisciplinary nature of this major would enable me to take classes across Wharton and Penn Law to learn more about business and structural change. Furthermore, many of UPenn's specific course offerings, such as social entrepreneurship and NGOs and humanitarianism, are right up my alley and are exactly what I hope to study. Another interest of mine is UPenn Center for Children's Policy, Practice, and Research. In high school, I worked with my school administration and implemented Best Buddies as an elective for course credit to facilitate vital peer-to-peer -peer interaction in classrooms. This center would allow me to further explore policy change as it relates to educational curriculum and the various needs of children. A UPenn education will empower me with the knowledge to expand my nonprofit, build a foundation in politics and policy change, and even take supplementary classes in decision making or business ethics. If there's anything my high school experience has taught me is that my academic interests are diverse and multifaceted. UPenn is where I want to explore them. And so, in this essay, again, I really do reference an interdisciplinary major because if you've seen any of my other college essay videos, a lot of the fields that I am interested in or just areas that I'm interested in are very diverse and they're just a lot of things that I'm curious about and so I've always been kind of undecided about what I want to study and so I kind of use that, you know, when because a lot of these schools ask, you know, how are you going to explore your academic interests? And so I really did reference a lot of different areas in all of my, you know, college essays when it came to academic 
uh, pursuits and what I want to study because I'm still a little bit undecided but I also feel like oftentimes a lot of the interdisciplinary majors are really interesting to explore. All right so for the pen essay number two the question was about how you're going to be involved outside of the classroom in the pen community and also a unique perspective that you might bring to the pen community and how the how pen will contribute to your perspective or something along those lines and again you can look up the exact essay prompts online but it was more about how you're going to be involved in the pen community outside of the classroom. And so this is what I wrote. Flaky pastries, hearty stews, gooey chocolate fudge cakes, and fresh albacore sashimi are just a few examples of food I've been reviewing throughout Las Vegas and posting them on at Rad's Food. Though this pursuit is currently in a rudimentary stage, my exposure to Las Vegas food culture has kindled my fascination for cooking and cuisine. At UPenn, I would join Penn Appetit magazine and collaborate with Penn Quakers in writing unique magazine articles while simultaneously exploring every restaurant, cafe, bistro, and hole-in-the-wall eatery possible. Furthermore, I would bring my community involvement to Philadelphia by participating in civic initiatives through the Barbara and Edward Nether Center for Community Partnerships and policy change through the Office of Government Community Affairs. This would allow me to gain knowledge from one of the most impactful cities in the country through ad access to its advocacy campaigns and educational policy organizations. See, I'm the product of Las Vegas, a close-knit community that cherishes innovation and originality. I always say that in Las Vegas we play games, but we're also game changers. Through Penn Student Government, I would continue to incorporate the diverse experiences I've had as a Las Vegas member by joining the Social Planning and Events Committee. And so as you can see, and the word count for this essay was definitely shorter, I really did try to incorporate a lot of my different interests uh, involving food. I talked about the fact that I'm from Las Vegas, and then of course I talked about my civic engagement and social service initiatives. And so I feel like with that, I was really just trying to describe some more of my interests to you, Penn. And so I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope all of you are enjoy enjoying reading my college essay videos. Um, and like I said, I have been making a whole bunch of these essay videos. I'm going to continue to make more as well as advice for the college application process in general and any other videos that any of you want to watch. If you have any suggestions, please fe feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also DM me at rad underscore shaw. Uh, that's R-A-D underscore S-H-A-H and I definitely would love to hear from all of you. I'm also making food review videos as well which I kind of referenced in my pen essay video so this channel is going to be incorporating a lot of different stuff and so I hope all of you uh, are enjoying the content that I'm producing and I'll talk to all of you soon.